Hey there, this is Ian, Solutions Specialist from Candrone, and today we're in Fort Langley, British Columbia, and we're going to demonstrate some power line stringing with the DJI M300 and the H20T. In addition to that, we also have the Dromite Talon hook release system mounted on this drone. And then running from the hook system, we have this pull line and the spool. And the objective today is to string this pull line through that block system out in the field, which is hanging on a tripod to simulate a power pole. You can get a closer look at this white spacer bar that we've developed. Just some metal dowel cut to size, about 60 centimeters, and painted with the high visibility white with a streamer. A couple of knots on either end, and this allows us um, to keep our, our line away from the slipstream of the propellers when it takes on a bit more tension and pulls up, as, uh, as you can see. So this dromite hook is actually triggered by the beacon, as uh, you can see, flashing. How it works is the switch that triggers this uh, hook to release is uh, this little cap over the underside of the, the drone and the beacon, so it is a light sensor that uh, signifies the trigger in this hook system. So I turn off the beacon. I can see the, the hook is open. There's a little red button on the back that allows you manual control from the ground. So I just feed my loop back into the hook and I close the gate. My LED light seems to be green and so we'll now take off and make a precision drop. So I tug on this line but I'm quite confident that that is not going to go up into the slipstream of the propellers and bring the drone down. Now I give that quite a tug and that's not uh, pulling up any higher and that's what we want to see. And as you can see, we had a successful drop. And we've restrung this line through the hook. We're ready to do another demo. Seems I've threaded it and I can release. I switch to my other screen, but before I do, I want to get perspective on what I've just done with the H20T. So I'm going to gimbal around and get a shot at what I've just done. You see, I've threaded this through successfully. And so the time has come, I'm going to switch to my FPV screen where I can see my toggle for the uh, strobe, which is the trigger, and we're through. And we have successfully threaded with our Talon Dromite. All right, so I've taken in some slack. That will allow us to get some tension in the line so that when we align with the gate on top of that block, it's a little bit more horizontal angle and we can um, place it in the block more easily. Okay, that was really successful. So we found by tying off our line to the fence there that uh, when you start to get some, you know, 30 or even 40 degree slopes, uh, you get the horizontal orientation that matches that horizontally oriented gate. I'm gonna do one more shot at it where I'm standing too far away to rely on my visual line of sight. I'm only gonna rely on the H20T. And what I'm gonna do is slide past the block. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spin around so that I'm facing the direction that the line is being run out from. And I'm gonna tilt my H20T just a little bit up. And now I'm going to rely entirely on my piloting skills with looking at this camera. Move ever so easily. Oh, I'm a little low there. Come back. I'm going to bring it up and try again. I think I can just bring it up. Oh, that time just a tad high. I'm going to back up a little bit to bring even more tension under the line. And I'm going to drop down. And it looks like I'm in. 
So now I'm going to release. And we've done it. We've demonstrated the ability of the M300 with the H20T inspection camera, along with the Dromite Talon hook release system. Uh, the ability to string a pull line through a pulley for utility line stringing. We use this drone to get situated and then we spun around and looked back on our line and we use the inspection uh, camera, the H20T, to guide this line into the block with that gate propped open. But I have successfully strung this through. This system is now proved to be effective and we could string this pull line through many towers in a given day. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel to see much more content and visit candrone.com. For any questions about these products or more, be sure to reach out to us. We'd be happy to help.